Hey, how's it going everybody? This is Jonathan Coates and in today's free training, I just want to talk again about OpenAI's free chat bot called ChatGPT. And in the last video, I just talked about how to set it up and what happens when you create an account and what to do once you're on the dashboard. And I gave a couple of examples and I, I talked briefly about the basics and I just talked about how to create content for your business, email or advertorial with ChatGPT. But in this video, I just want to talk about something. This is a strategy that I talk about in my limitless traffic formula when it comes to creating content on question and answer platforms so on platforms as you know on quora or any type of forum people go there and they ask questions and then people go and they answer those questions pretty descriptively like they answer these questions with like so meticulous and they give great detail and a lot of times you can make money this way and bring traffic back to your website by kind of like giving a bits of the answer and then leading people back to your blog um, like to a link to more information. So you have like a link in in your answer that gives people more information. So if they want the rest of the, the answer, they have to go to your website, which is a very like strategic way, stealth way of, of, of getting traffic. So it actually teach that in the limitless traffic formula, which is basically just a free formula that I, I updated for the first time yesterday after like seven years. And I actually discovered this today. So I, I'm like, man, this just literally revolutionized the limitless traffic formula. So for an example, like, and as you can see here, my prompt that I put into chat GPT was, can you create an answer to a question that's formatted in a way that's designed to get people to click on a link? And it said, yes, here's an example of a question that's formatted in a way that's designed to get people to click on a link. Are you curious about the latest breakthrough in cancer research? Click this link to learn more about a revolutionary new treatment that could change the face of medicine forever. And then it says, in this example, the question is designed to peak pique the reader's interest and curiosity by mentioning a potentially groundbreaking discovery in cancer research. The use of the word revolutionary and the promise of a new treatment that could have a major impact on medicine further adds to the appeal of, of the link by framing the question in this way. The reader is more likely to click on the link to learn more. So it's so amazing to me that just based off of my question, like my prompt, it not only gave me an example, but it also broke down like the science and psychology of it is what the entire limitless traffic formula is based around and even um james scholes same day commissions so it says can you create a more detailed version because i just want a more detailed version like a longer version of the answer and it, and i'm not going to read the whole thing but that's exactly what it did and then it taught it, it does the same exact thing that it did here but it, it gave me even longer explanation of, of the science and psychology of it um, it talks about like the words groundbreaking, revolutionary, cutting edge. I said, can you create an even longer and more detailed version? It said, yeah. And so it did exactly that. It created an even longer and detailed version of the answer. And I just want to read this one. Are you tired of hearing about the same old treatments for cancer that never seem to be making much progress? Are you ready to learn about a revolu revolutionary new approach that has turned the world of cancer treatment on its head? If so, click this link to discover a cutting edge new cancer therapy that is showing incredible promise in early clinical trials this therapy known as xyz which is <laughs> something that i say a lot in my example templates for like objections and rebuttals and stuff like that or for like any type of templates that i use for like question and answer uh, platforms and so saying xyz is funny because it's also in quotation marks so it says known as xyz uses a unique combination of targeted drugs and immunotherapy to attack cancer cells from multiple angles resulting in a significantly improved survival rates and quality of life for patients unlike traditional treatments xyz in quotes has been shown to be effective against a wide range of ca cancer types and has minimal side effects in fact many patients report feeling better almost immediately after starting treatment with xyz don't miss this chance to learn about the future of cancer treatment click the link and now to to find out more about xyz and how it could change the lives of millions of people so what i'm gonna do is i'm actually gonna do this again and it, and it explains it so I'm going to have it do it again, but I just want to read this. In this version, the question not only mentions the potential benefits of the new treatment, but also provides specific details about how it works and why it is different from traditional treatments. The use of the language such as revolutionary, cutting edge, and unique helps to create a sense of excitement and curiosity about the treatment, while the mission of improved survival rates and quality of life, as well as the potential for the treatment to be effective against a wide range of cancer types, provides a compelling reason for the reader to click on that link. 
So you get where I'm going with this. I don't want to read the rest of it, but this this really just changes almost everything virtually for the limitless traffic formula and copywriting. As far as like explain, <laughs> explaining the psychology of it, giving examples, creating templates, you see what this thing is doing. Like it, it streamlines like the entire process of explaining complex questions and and um and then like giving very detailed and descriptive answers and breaking down complex topics to the bare bones. So like for an example, I can say, can you explain this at a fourth grade level? Which is something that I've always been taught to not a fourth grade level, but I think it's about a seventh grade level to teach or explain things as you don't want to be too like complex in the way you talk in, in sales or marketing and business. So let's just see what happens if I put, can you explain this at a fourth grade level? Sure. <laughs> Here's an explanation of the question at a fourth grade level. Do you want to know about a new way to treat cancer? This new treatment is very special because it works in a different way than other treatments. It uses two different medicines to attack the cancer cells and make them go away. This new treatment is called XYZ and is being developed by doctors at the cancer, XYZ Cancer Research Institution. So I don't want to read anymore, but you see that it actually breaks this down into a more simplified fourth grade level. And this is just absolutely amazing to me. So I just wanted to create this follow up video because I'm, I'm about to create videos for the limitless traffic formula, explaining each step. And I just want to kind of show you that real quick. So if I just go to limitless traffic formula, opt-in page, and then go to the limitless traffic formula, open a new tab. And this is completely um, open source. You guys can come here. I have this in the community section. Um, you don't have to opt in or anything. You can, it'll take you directly to the Google Docs. But basically, um, the, key for, the key phrase research phase if I were to click on that, I actually show people how to get keywords and key phrases using Uber Suggest and other keyword research tools. But you can actually do that with ChatGPT. So give me 50 long tail keywords about question and ant no, about content marketing. Just put content marketing. And then what it'll do is it'll literally give me 50 keywords and key phrases for content marketing. So as you can see, there's no reason for me to use any of these key phrase research tools so long as chat GPT remains free. And then also when it comes to the question and answer, answer platforms, I recommend Quora and, forum, and forums uh, depending on your niche. And then I actually give you uh, a template to use. But as, as I showed you earlier, chat GPT creates that answer. You can format and structure your, your answer that is designed to bring people back to your website and into your funnel. You can actually put that answer into this software and it'll spit it out for you. And not only that, but it'll explain to you why and how it did it. So I personally recommend to rearrange some of the stuff around, especially Obviously, you don't want to just copy and paste and then click enter right away. You want to move stuff around and, and make it make sense. Like, I wouldn't just start off with, do you want to know about a new way to treat cancer? That just sounds salesy. I would immediately just jump into the, the answer. Like, this new treatment is, I wouldn't even say, I, I would just get into the information and kind of use some of this. And you is it is completely uh, customizable and flexible, so you can put you can be more specific in your prompt to have it be more tailored for what you want so i just want to create this quick video a follow-up on my last video that'll pretty much be it um if you like content like this i talk about all types of stuff when it comes to generating sales and generating more traffic and stuff just like this on my website jonathancoast.net you'll see it in the description or if you can just subscribe to this channel you'll see more content like this on a regular basis on a weekly basis i create content so yeah that'll pretty much be it i have everything that i included in this video and the tools and the resources below so with that said i will see you in the next video see you then